Hey, John here again. So this is a little residential uh, Husqvarna, uh, I don't know, maybe an 18 inch bar there. That's a little guy, but uh, I got got this dropped off. The customer says it doesn't start. So I just uh, went through the motions and of course it started. But so I just want to make a quick video on how to uh, adjust your carburetor if it's out of whack because I had a feeling that's what it was um, because he said it ran fine and now he couldn't start it. And Again, yeah, so I blew it out and cleaned it up a little bit. Actually, it was not even really dirty compared to some chainsaws. But uh, so, anyways, this these uh, low and high, I back or uh, uh, tighten all these all, all the way down. Uh, you know, not crank them down, but tighten them all the way down to the seat. And then, uh, like I said, back, and I'll show you. Uh, you do need a tool for this. This tool is uh, probably can't see in there. It's got like little tiny knurled things. It's basically. Uh, it is a special T tool for these, but you can get these anywhere, probably Amazon for half or nothing. Um, but a lot of times there are the 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 screw adjusters. Uh, sometimes they're Phillips. Sometimes you can get a flathead in there. Um, if you don't have one of these tools, it's possible to. Uh, well, let me take that off again and look. It's possible sometimes you can get a like a little pair of needle nose on. Nah, well you could. You'd have to take this uh, this plastic piece off. I'm not going to do that with the tool, so if you don't have that tool, you have to come up with something else to get in there and tune this, but, anywho, uh, alright, so, let me back these down, or tighten them up. Wow, that's pretty far out there. There's one, two, that one's about two, the other one's about two and a half. Uh, the, the low and high got to work in conjunction with each other, but the thing probably won't start without throttle now. Um, well, let me see, let me see if I can start this. <coughs> I got my finger on the throttle, see if it'll start. See, that won't, won't stay running, but... So the car is all the way back down. So what I do is uh, I go in there, take uh, first I set my little tool up with uh, there's writing on it. I like to use that that writing in the center so I know how many times I'm times I'm turning it. So I'll go in there and go. Uh, geez, I didn't tighten that. All right, so there's there's one turn, one and a half turns. Same thing with the uh, the high. I'll go ahead and back it out. One turn, one and a half turns. Now technically this should start and run, and then I'll tune it from there. So he probably had a, a starting issue because these got out of whack. Like I said, when I turned that low screw down, it was probably two and a half, two and a half turns, maybe even a little more. And this one was a, a full two turns. Uh, so I just set them at a, a one and a half turns, which basically, uh, if you get them little books, little repair books or service books, that's that's what they're telling you to do. So it starts right now. Now it's warm but I'd like to do a cold star. I might just let it sit a little bit, see if it'll run just like that. And uh, the idle seems good, so that's all there is to it, man. Just one and a half turns on your uh, low and high, and that usually solves most of these uh, problems if they're running a little goofy. Especially if, if you start this thing, it's hard starting, you know, you couldn't start, it wouldn't, wouldn't start, like he's saying, it wouldn't start. If you just go ahead and hold the throttle down and try to start it and it starts, it's generally just, these are out of, uh, these are out of adjustment. It's, it's easy to do. But it is kind of like, you know, as a saw owner, you should know, you should know this. You shouldn't have to bring it somewhere to do that. So that's all. I just want to make a quick video.